What if I told you that a tiny invisible force is keeping you alive right now? It's happening in your cells, your brain, even your favorite plants. And if it stops, well, things get ugly. Let's explore the effects of osmosis on cells. Osmosis is the movement of water from the region of higher concentration to the region of low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. For osmosis to take place, first, there must be two solutions with different concentrations. One solution with a high solute concentration and the other solution with a low solute concentration. A solution with a high solute concentration is called a hypertonic solution, while a solution with a low solute concentration is called a hypotonic solution. Second, the two solutions must be separated by a semi-permeable membrane. What happens is that water molecules move by osmosis from the hypotonic solution to the hypertonic solution until the concentration of both solutions equalizes. Cells meet their requirement for osmosis. When a cell is placed in a fluid, there will be two solutions. Cytoplasm, the watery part of the cell, is a solution. The fluid outside the cell is another solution. These two solutions, usually of different concentrations, are separated by the cell membrane, a semi-permeable membrane. The water molecules move in and out of the cell based on the concentration of the cytoplasm and the fluid outside the cell. If the cytoplasm is more concentrated than the fluid outside, water molecules move by osmosis into the cell. If the cytoplasm is less concentrated than the fluid outside, water molecules move by osmosis outside the cell. Then what are the effects of osmosis on cells? Let's start with a plant cell in distilled water. Distilled water is a hypotonic solution. It has a lower solute concentration than the cytoplasm. Therefore, when a plant cell is placed in distilled water, water molecules move into the cell. The cell membrane exerts pressure on the cell, causing the plant cell to expand. However, as the cell wall is tough and rigid, it prevents the cell from overexpansion and bursting. So the plant cell becomes swollen or turgid, as shown by the image. Turgidity is important to plants as it enables small plants such as flowers to stand upright. What happens when a plant cell is in a salt solution? The salt solution is a hypertonic solution. It has a higher solute concentration than the cytoplasm. Therefore, when a plant cell is placed in the salt solution, water molecules move from the cell to the salt solution. The cytoplasm loses water, causing the cell membrane to pull away from the cell wall, as shown by this image. This feature is called plasmolysis. What happens when an animal cell is in distilled water? Distilled water is a hypotonic solution. It has a lower solute concentration than the cytoplasm. When an animal cell is placed in distilled water, water molecules move into the cell. The more water enters the cell, the more the cell expands. The animal cell eventually bursts as it has no cell wall to prevent overexpansion. The bursting of the cell is called lysis. Finally, what happens when an animal cell is in a salt solution? A salt solution is a hypertonic solution. It has a higher solute concentration than the cytoplasm. When an animal cell is placed in the salt solution, water molecules move from the cell to the salt solution. The cell becomes dehydrated and eventually shrinks. To recap, Osmosis is the movement of water from the region of higher concentration to the lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. When a plant cell is placed in distilled water, water moves into the cell. The plant cell becomes swollen or turgid, but the cell does not burst due to the presence of the cell wall in the plant cell that prevents overexpansion. When a plant cell is placed in a salt solution, water molecules move from the cell to the salt solution. As the cell loses water, the cell membrane pulls away from the cell wall, a feature called plasmolysis. When an animal cell is placed in distilled water, water moves into the cell. The cell expands until it bursts, because the animal cell lacks the cell wall that can prevent overexpansion. The bursting of the cell is called lysis. When an animal cell is placed in a salt solution, water moves from the cell to the salt solution. The cell becomes dehydrated and eventually shrinks. Osmosis isn't just a scientific concept. It's the subtle force that keeps cells alive or sends them to their watery doom. It's the invisible hero behind everything from plant growth to hydration in your own body.